Welcome back to The Morning Show here on Arise News with me, Katira King. How far would you go to follow your dreams? Would you walk away from a successful professional career to take a chance in the creative world? My first guest, Kiki Kamanu, did just that. Kiki left Harvard Medical School, where she worked as the coordinator for their neurosurgery education program to pursue her passion in fashion design. In 2007, she launched her own brand, the eponymous label Kiki Kamanu. Since then, her eclectic pieces have graced many top runways, including Sleek, London Fashion Week, Arise Fashion Week, and Lagos Fashion and Design Week. Her brand has also appeared in major American, European, Turkish, and of course, Nigerian media. And as if that's not impressive enough, Kiki has also dressed A-listers such as Susan Taylor, editor emeritus of Essence magazine, and French singing duo Les Nubians. Welcome to The Morning Show, Kiki. How are you? I'm yeah, fine. I'm so excited to be here. I'm so excited <laughs> to have you here. And you look amazing. Where'd you get that from? I wonder why you say this. You know, I actually got this from this designer. Her name is uh, Kiki Kamanu. Oh, really? I don't know if you've heard of her. <laughs> <laughs> so let's it. just take a look at all these wonderful Kiki creations we have mm -hmm. in studio. Mm -hmm. Of course, there's my fringe top yes, that is leather. gorgeous. Fringe leather yes. and native anchor print. Yes, Love it. Then we also have this beautiful throw cushion. Yes, we love Lagos and everything about it. I mean, we all love Lagos. <laughs> then we've got this gorgeous dress on the mannequin right beside me that yes. we're going to talk about in detail shortly. Okay. And last but certainly not least, I mean, you've got to stand, stand up and let Press us take a look okay. at this dress. Stand and take mm -mm -mm, about. Honey, go. That is gorgeous. Yes, with the hood. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. So, Kiki, how are you this morning? I know it's bright and early. It's bright and early, but that's the best way to start your week, start your day, actually. Definitely. Yeah. And I get to spend it with you and with you. Oh, hey! Okay, <laughs> girl! And you're going to share a surprise with us at oh, the yes, end later. of this interview segment. Well, we won't get to that just yet. So let's talk about the fact that you started your fashion brand mm -hmm. in 2007 mm -hmm. after walking away from so many years at Harvard <laughs> Medical School. Not just any medical school, guys. I don't know if you I heard know, me correctly. Let me repeat it again. Harvard. No, I know. And you prior to that, yeah, yeah. Prior to that, I actually worked in um, um, with the, uh, at KPMG Pricewaterhouse. And then I moved to, to Boston to run the neurosurgery, uh, uh, the education program at Harvard, Medical School, at, at Harvard Medical School, which I did for a number of years, which I loved. Mm -hmm. I met the best and the brightest uh, from all over the world. But there, uh, there was a point where I just, I didn't enjoy what I was doing. I loved my team. I, 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 I was well paid. <laughs> but there's a time when you just know it's time to move on. Mm. And so I moved to New York and I began to do a, a, what I loved best as, and what I would do for free, uh, but I have to pay bills. Um, so I began <laughs> Don't say that too loudly. You know, you know people and, love to pay an exposure. <laughs> I know. But it's, it's been an amazing journey because I've I've met so many wonderful people from all over, all over the world, and they've all been so giving and so nurturing, and and they've helped me to uh, to get to where I am. Absolutely, you know, it's it, it's it's been a fascinating journey. Now, your pieces are incredibly edgy, from using leather to create fringes to putting mm -hmm. hoodies on dresses mm -hmm. to blue hair and blue eyelashes. <laughs> What, what, what is your inspiration cre for creating these edgy, eclectic designs? For me, what inspires me you know, when I create, a, a, and I create every single day, um, and my sleep, and, 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 and when I'm awake, I watch the world around me. Uh, uh, it could be someone I see on a bus wearing a blouse that's green, and then I see someone a, a two days later wearing a sari that's purple, mm -hmm. and somehow I, I, I put those two experiences together. And when I, uh, I have my um, uh, sketch pad and, and pencil together, I start to put them together and I just form. And what guides me is, is comfort right. and color, but also you cannot be ordinary. Mm. Who, who would want to be ordinary? Well, not me, girl. <laughs> who would want to be ordinary? So it's key to stand out in a crowd for good reason mm -hmm. and, um, and always be extraordinary. And, and I find that clients... 
um, because uh, they always give me feedback uh, and they say, Kiki, thank you uh, 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 for giving me the confidence. Uh, when I wore your blood dress, I, I, I felt like a million dollars. Oh, wow. I walked into the room as, 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 and everyone was, was staring at me. Thank you for the, the confidence you, you, you've given me. So clothes actually transport you uh, uh, to a place where you want to be. Absolutely. As, uh, and people don't realize that. So I tell people uh, uh, when you are feeling down and you, uh, and you want to stay under the covers the whole day, Put something really amazing and wow on that pops. Ooh. And it will totally transform your mood. It's amazing. Okay, so speaking of something amazing and totally wow that'll transform your mood, uh -huh. we need to talk about your wedding dress, girl. Because your wedding photos were literally, they broke the internet. The most unconventional wedding dress I've ever seen in my life. And it was so fashionably phenomenal. Mm -hmm. I mean, Talk to me about the inspiration. Where did that come from? How did you even think of that? <laughs> um, I, it was quite simple. You don't want to be ordinary. Mm -hmm. And yes, I think the, the, the normal white or, or, or the off-white wedding dresses are stunning and beautiful. That's just not me. Mm. And, and it's important to be true to who you are. And I've always loved red. <laughs> and growing up, my twin sister loved blue, and I loved red. Oh, but and you seem to be taking over the love of blue from her. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. And so I created something that I wanted to, to actually wear again after wow. the wedding in Istanbul, but something that would... I, I, I wasn't trying to shock anybody. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I was actually trying to be tame. Oh. To me, that oh. was tame. That, that's to me, that was actually tame. So I was surprised at the reaction it got from all over the world. You look like an Indian African queen. I was just trying to be Kiki. I'm sorry. I mean, but... that ain't tame, girl. That's beautiful, you know, and, but it ain't tame. And, and the setting at the Sharan on the Bosphorus in, in Istanbul oh, was just wow. lovely. But um, I, I was just trying to be me. Oh, my goodness. And I think it worked. I, it I, I think it worked. Sure I think it did. So. Now, we have to talk about your background because mm -hmm. we've spoken about Harvard Medical. We basically mm -hmm. flogged that. <laughs> yeah, throw that away. <laughs> but you also spent a lot of your formative years in France. Yes. And yes. I can imagine that that shaped you fashionably in terms of your fashion it sense did. because Parisians are incredibly chic. Yes, yes. So what did you gain from your experience in France? I noticed that um, the everyday person in Paris is not boring. <laughs> and, and it's not because of other they're trying to outdo the next person, but they, it's, 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 it's in their blood. And um, what I've, I've, I've taken from my uh, uh, time in Paris is just um, to always add a, a little extra. Mm. You know, uh, 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 the way in France, they always wear the beret or, yes. or, 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 or the scarf around their neck, or a yes. little something just to give it a little pizzazz. And even if it's a black dress, it's not just a black dress, it's something else you add on to it. Um, just, and it goes, it's like, it's, it goes back to, voila, voila, chérie, voila, voila, <laughs> voila, voila, you know, you don't ever want to walk into a room and all eyes go up and then down. Mm. No, uh, uh, I want the eyes to go up and go, whoa, like that. <laughs> you know, but the French just know how to do it. How? Ooh, honey, mm, if you I know, knew. It's, 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 it's <sighs> a mixture of color sometimes and the fabrics yes. and, and, and. It's very luxurious, very it's lush. It's luxurious. And even those who aren't trying to be, they are. Mm -hmm. they Which are. is why it's just so effortlessly chic. Now, speaking of being effortlessly chic, you're clearly no stranger to fashion. Fashion, what's that? Oh, please, huh? madame. You <laughs> used to be a model. We know all your secrets here on the morning show. Tell me about your time modeling. Oh my goodness. I actually started modeling really early. Uh, I, I was a child model at the age of five. Wow. So I was thrust uh, uh, into uh, the, the front of the camera, but my mom was like, you're gonna be on TV. I'm like, <laughs> and, and so at an early age, I became comfortable uh, in front of the camera. And so being on the runway, uh, I, I, I think I was 10 the first time I was on the runway. Wow. I was scared out of my mind, Aww. but I was taught not to show it. Right. And, and I received a standing ovation of like me. Oh, hey. And, and I, 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 I didn't look 10 because I was really tall for my age. Right. And so it, it just took off from there. And I, I, I modeled in Paris, in the US, and in, in, in Nigeria as well. And it's something actually I still do at the end of every show. I always have the key key time. Oh. <laughs> Seconds, I walk the length of the of the runway because it's my time. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> no. I love but it. But it's it's fun. It's exhilarating. Mm -hmm. And and why not? Okay, so <laughs> let's take a little look at you strutting your stuff <gasps> down the no, catwalk. No, you did not. Yes, no. we did, girl. <laughs>
God, Naomi, who? <laughs> Now, this is from your 2014 collection, and you're actually, you just finished creating your 2018 collection. Yes. Okay, so tell me about the inspirations behind that. I know you can't reveal it yet until, <laughs> until you do exactly what we're seeing on screen right now, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but walk me through some of the inspirations of that collection and then of this gorgeously exquisite piece right next Thank to me. You. My new collection is called Death femme, and in French that means uh, to be a woman. Um, because I find that uh, we as women, we juggle a, 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 a several a roles, whether it's being a CEO and then mother and mm. then wife and then the head of this organization, volunteering this. Um, but yet we still are able to be chic. Yeah. Um, at least we try to be yeah. stylish and, and chic. And, and it's not a matter of budget. It's a, 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 you can be chic and, and stylish on a shoestring budget. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, and it's all in how you carry yourself. Absolutely. You know, and, and I tell people because um, I, 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 I teach modeling, I, 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 teach, um, I, I, teach, I, I teach how to walk on the runway, is you always, it's, it's, it's all about poise. Yes. Standing tall and keeping your chin up and shoulders back. Mm -hmm. And every time you step out, whether you're walking to your car or, or down the corridor, that should be your runway. Oh. That should be your runway. And Who was it? Was it, I believe, Christian Louboutin or YSL that said, walk as it's Christian Louboutin? Yes. Walk as though there's uh, 10 men walking behind exactly. you. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And always. And, <laughs> and so when I, I began to sketch on this new collection, um, I wanted to add, of course, style, but comfort and color. Mm. And I wanted it to to be uh, uh, to be for the every woman and right. so whether she's a size 18 or size 8 or size whatever or whether she's pregnant or she has two kids at home or whatever and so i blended lots of leather with stripes um ah. some 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 color here and there and um it's sexy. Mm. It's, it's for everybody. So you have to check it out. It's, it's launching in about three weeks Amazing. at the Lagos Fashion and Design Week. So we can't wait to see it. Now, speaking of being every woman and looking sexy and being confident, talk to me about this dress because this is one of the on-trend designs for African women this mm -hmm. season. Mm -hmm. So walk me through it. This is the Mardi Gras a dress and I, I chose that name for it because it reminded me of being in New Orleans uh, doing Mardi Gras. <laughs> With the colorful beads. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> because it's very busy, it's edgy, yet it's, it's, it's actually n not too OTT mm -hmm. and it is, it is elegant and you can't see the back but it's got a oh, plunging no, we're neckline. We're going to show the back once but we finish showing the front. <laughs> it's got a plunging neckline, um, uh, 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 it's plunging at the back and and one of my clients actually wore it to a function with sneakers. Oh, wow. And she looked amazing. So you can literally dress your designs up Absolutely. or dress them down. Absolutely. And that's key. That's perfect that's for key. a woman that lives in Lagos because yes. you're going to an event, you're wearing your high heels, but you're mm. going to the supermarket, mm. you might put on your slippers Absolutely. or your sneakers. That's why comfort is key in my mm. designs. It's key. So look your best. But also, you need to be comfortable most of the time. Not all the time, because it, it's sometimes be uncomfortable and look good, gorgeous. But most of the time, you need to be. And so that's where uh, 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 this came in. And whether you're a size 22 or a size 2, it's perfect for you. Absolutely. It's perfect for you. Yeah. Now, let's talk about the little surprise that you have for our viewers. Before we do that, okay. let's tell them about how they can reach you on social media. Oh, yes. So yes. we'll start with your Instagram handle. Yes. And then we'll go to your website. I will and then we'll reveal you. the surprise. I will tell you. So <laughs> on Instagram, it's Kiki Kamanu. That's K-I-K-I-K-A-M-A-N-U. Yes, there are three Ks in my name. Yep. <laughs> I mean, at the end of the show, we're going to have three Ks on set. Thank yes. goodness we're not in America. <laughs> Ooh, Kiki, come on. And on Instagram, on Facebook, it's the same as well. On, on Twitter, it's Kiki Kamanu Inc. And we also have an e-commerce site, which is shop.kikikamanu.com. Okay. Shop.kikikamanu.com. And Amazing. drum roll. <laughs> what you can see at the bottom of your screens right now is the code that reads Kiki Loves Katura. If you go to www.kikikamanu.com, you will receive 20% off. Only when you for type seven in that code. Days. Say it again, honey. Let for them hear you. Seven days from today until next Friday. Kiki Loves Couture on shop.kikikamano.com. 20%, but only for Arise viewers. Don't Ooh. let anybody else do it. If you're not Arise, do not. 20%. <laughs> well, they'll only know if they watch the show.
So there you go. And every day for seven days, we are going to be adding new pieces. I Just love for you. That. Every day for seven days, we're adding new pieces. That, that is free shipping, amazing. Free shipping worldwide. Well, Kiki, the morning show loves you too. <laughs> Thank you so much. Our viewers so are really going to enjoy getting a look, the first look at your new collection, yes. being able to purchase from your old collection, Absolutely. and also getting 20% off. 20% off. Never been done before, guys. Seven You're days. so lucky. <laughs> So that is all from the super stylish Kiki Kimani for now, as it's time for a short break on The Morning Show. Stay tuned as when we return, I'll have Dr. Tandiva Diff on. Don't go away. <laughs> 